Next up is ISD Noose, who um, is a member of the Interstellar Services Division Department. 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 Um, and he is going to tell you a little bit about CCP's volunteer program and how he, what he does and how you can get involved in it. And so over to you. Thank you. Oh, well, hello. I'm uh, ISD Knows, and no, I didn't pick the name. It's random. Thank um, so I can't even pronounce it half the time, so I don't blame anybody that gets it wrong. Um, as, a, as it is, um, ISD is the volunteer department that um, any player can volunteer for, including everyone here, which I would definitely encourage everyone to apply once you leave the room. That'd be great. We need more members. Um, basically, we have a, a series of departments inside the main department, or teams if you, if you have. The first one being STAR, which is what the, department, uh, the team that I'm a member of, which is um, support training and resources. So we do uh, new player meet and greets, so new player experience. Um, we greet players that have gone over a certain amount of time played, make sure that they're grasping the concepts of the game, know that they now no longer have to update their clones, um, know that they can, if they're interested in mining, to which skills to train, what ships to go for, how to fit them, basic things like that, just to make sure that they're getting the most out of their, their trial, um, and hopefully they'll then progress into a, a full member. Um, we also maintain a, a presence in all the help channels, um, the main one being the rookie help, uh, because as you know, past 30 days, you all get kicked out of it. So somebody with experience must stay in there to, to keep the ball rolling. Um, it's where we have our most fun, because a lot of you guys create new accounts, and of course they become rookies, and you think you can come in and give people shit. <laughs> Um, and then up comes a, a teal name saying, uh, uh stop that. Or a blue, as we've seen. Uh, the, the next team uh, is ECAD, or the Equipment Certification Anomaly Investigations Division, or better known as Bug Hunters. Um, they work the closest with, uh, with the GMs uh, to find the exploits that you love exploiting um, and patch them up. Um, they are the guys that will move you on Sissy, if you see them in, uh, in channel. Um, they do a bit of quality, quality, quality assurance as well. Um, all our teams are quite separate, so I'm not privy to exactly what they do, so I can't really give much details, because um, as ISD we are bound by NDAs, just the same as um, the, uh, the other staff are. Uh, the next one is Interstellar Correspondents. Uh, these are our news reporters. Uh, you may see them in screenshots in Nullsec in their little f shiny Polaris frigates um, that you can't blow up because they're awesome. <laughs> um, I think that that team is, is lacking the most in, uh, in participation, so if anybody has a creative flair for writing, um, please, please apply to join. Uh, they really need to, some bolsters, some numbers. Uh, Mercury. Uh, Mercury is the creative backbone of the ISD team. They help in creating law. Um, so they work very closely with the, with the devs um, in describing systems, uh, planets, writing stories, backstories on characters, um, all that kind of stuff. So again, if you have a creative flair, please apply. Uh, Yar, yeah, which I, I love this team, there's like one member. They're supposed to update the wiki and moderate it and make sure that people, when, because you're all free to modify the wiki yourselves, um, it will get moderated if you try and lie. Uh, but they really, really need some support. So if, if you feel like you could maintain the wiki, like um, I think we had a conversation earlier that it is grossly outdated uh, according to the modules and things like that. So again, please join. Do you get a gist of what I'm trying to say here? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, CCL, now these guys are the guys that will remove your posts on the forum if you do bad things. Or lock threads, yeah. I'm not one of them, don't worry. <laughs> that's, uh, that's basically all I know that they do um, and they correspond with the devs, I think, mainly. So, your ginger needs you and not this one. <laughs> so, um, I made it very short because uh, a lot of people don't actually know that we even exist um, or what we do. So, I'm quite happy to answer any questions as long as my NDA doesn't get me spanked. No? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just put everyone on the spot. And it's really hard to see up here. Uh, if if someone apply for ISD, did this character get the tag of ISD something like that? Yes. Like, for example, ISD Dark Rachel, ISD. <laughs> <laughs> the names cannot be yeah? uh, linked in any way to an existing so, player or non-player yeah, so, anything. It, so it has to be unique. When you mean it, ISD Dark Creator is available. If he gets, if he <laughs> comes, <is>. ISD. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm really too short for this. Um, <laughs> okay, so if um, I'm interested in doing something, because I happen to have a lot of spare time that I'm not using to play Eve. Sure. Um, how do I actually make the application? You've told us everything but how to actually apply. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm very slack there. Um, oh, here we go. Keep holding. Because I'm um, there, sort of there is a web the creative part. I probably can't do anything else because I don't know enough about the game to help anyone, but I, I'm good at writing. Any help writing, is, so. <laughs> is welcomed. Um, the, the website has a, an application form where you just basically put your name in, uh, a little bit of, about why you want to join, what team you want to join, um, and why you think you'd be suited to it. Um, and then the process goes along where um, a team leader will then probably get in contact with you to say, hey, you sound good, um, we need to sign some forms before you can proceed. Um, and then it progresses on from there and you get training. Do you want to just check that link? Because I think I tried it a month ago, it's a dead link. <laughs> I was looking through the ISD stuff because I was curious about bug hunters. I wasn't sure are these like wizard programmers that know everything or are they just there to oh, play around on CSGO? Oh. You have to be signed in though to get to this. Perhaps. That might have been it. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, we, we can see RDN is signed in. Can we sign him up? Just, just <laughs> fill it out. <laughs> Put him in bug hunters. <laughs> But I had a question relating to buzz hunters. Are these sure. guys like wizard programmers that have to know how to fix the problem or are they just playing on CSC and it's like, we hear there's something wrong with this. Can you play with it for an hour and figure out what's broken? Alrighty. Is this even on? Yeah, we go. Uh, I can actually speak very much to the bug hunters because before I joined CSB, I was part of the ISD yep. bug hunters. So for bug hunters, it's not so much quality assurance in that you go through and like actually try to get work out what is actually causing the issue of code. Bug hunters more are focused on doing things such as filtering all the bug reports that you guys send in. So they do things such as seeing whether this is a known issue, if it's actually intended gameplay. If it's a new issue or something that we haven't seen before, they go through the steps to try and replicate it. Because anybody that's involved with software development knows that like 90% of the effort trying to fix a bug is actually trying to get the damn thing to happen. And the other 10% was hunting through years old code to try and find what on earth they were thinking when they first made this thing. So the bug hunters do that 90% of trying to actually replicate those bugs and create repeatable steps to replicate it. And then they push it forward to the actual development teams who do all of that actual debugging and fixing the bugs and everything like that. Yep. So these guys don't, you don't have to be good with code. If you wanted to join bug hunters, what you need to be able to do is you need to be able to be very thorough with your ability to communicate processes and you have to be able to think in ways in which you can replicate these. Like how would this system work to try and cause that issue to
to help you replicate these bugs that people have. Sometimes it's very simple, like you, sometimes people are very kind and actually provide the step-by-step -step instructions, how do they actually manage to get this thing to be broken, and you follow that and she's like, yeah, okay, it's broken, and just file it away. Sometimes people can be a little bit less descriptive, uh, often like uh, tickets for the uh, GMs. So yeah, um, uh, I would highly recommend, like I quite enjoyed my time in uh, ECAD. It was quite great, and there's a bunch of great people there. So uh, I, if you're interested, go for it. Sorry if I, we only got time for one more. So, Ariel, you waiting? Yeah. Come on in. So, um, I was once a little bit younger, uh, more immature, very starry eyed, uh, and I did. Was apply. that five minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> I give four. All right. And um, I did apply to ISD a couple of times, but um, yeah, I was, I suppose, very immature with my applications, I suppose you'd say. Um, would that sort of ruin me for the future? Um, do you look at the past? And what would you recommend for something, uh, someone looking for ISD, um, you know, how to apply and, and what sort of personal experience that you should uh, uh, include with that application? Uh, that's probably a really good question. I'd probably uh, give you a reason why I joined would probably answer that. Um, I started back in 2008. Um, I did the usual thing, played for about two days and then went, screw this, this is shit. Um, came back a year or so later and went, oh, give it the benefit of the doubt. They've added tutorials and stuff now, so um, that would be good. Um, and I, I basically, I went through the high sec, the low sec, the null sec, the wormholes, you know, did, tried everything and I thought, well, I'll, the whole process that I did, I'd had nobody to help me. So I thought, well, I wanted to give something back. So that was my drive to join the team. Um, and that would have been expressed in the actual um, application where you give a little bit, like don't go over the, over the top. Well, maybe if you want to join IC, maybe you would want to go over the top because they want to see that creative ability. Um, but just be honest um, and I really doubt that they would take a previous failed application as long as they saw that you, you actually made the, made the uh, conscious attempt to move forward and, and make it better the second time around. As long as it's not something like you were banned for her doing some horrendous thing. Or okay. if you're actually, there are certain other places where if you're working in under NDAs, like if you work in the games industry, you, you just can't join the program because there's a conflict of interest as far as the NDAs go. So there's a couple of situations like that where we just cannot let people join the program, but that's very few and far between generally. All right. Guys, um, ISD News. Thank you.